everyone and I wanted to show how to properly measure wire gauge on stranded wire. Now I'm doing this because I've got a dispute between 2018 and 2019 wire gauge from a vendor who claims they're the same. So what you need to do this is you need a micrometer, you need a reference chart, you need your pixels, and I'm using a thermal wire stripper to prevent any nicks or cuts of the strand when I strip the insulation. Let's get started. This is the 2019. I'll just check and see if there's any strands in there. And there shouldn't be. Okay. And this is slow, tedious work, but it's not too bad. Kind of break them up. These strands here are where I used my regular stripper and they broke off. This is my thermal stripper here. Anyway. We got one, two, 30 strands. Then we mic them. Five, four, zero. One zero zero five four. Almost five and a half thousands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we pull up our chart and we go down to 0 0.0041, so we'll just go with 38 gauge and its circular mills is 1599950, 2 And the other one is 0 0.0054. So we'll go with 28. Oh, eight. Nine, one, nine, three. Okay, then we break out the calculator. Maybe. And we take 28 .08 nine one nine three times thirty strands equals eight forty two six seven five I'm not worry about the
Might as well do this one. 15.99540 times 34 strands. equals 543.843 back to browser five forty three So somewhere between 23 and 22 and a half is where we're at. I'm going to say 22.5. And the other one is 872, which puts us at 20.5 AWG. And there you have it. Now, granted, I know we don't ever trust what these things say, but that to me looks like it says 18 gauge. And the previous years, also says eighteen gauge. Hard to read. It's there. Okay, thank you.